Hey, this is Zach King with a beginner's guide to color. I want to get started here by taking a look at the sequence. This could be anyone's sequence here with transitions, I have a motion file, I've got text, and I've got some effects and color correction. Well, if we're going to send this sequence to color, which we want to do, I need to tell you a couple things. One, transitions aren't going to be seen when you're in color. They just don't. When you bring your color project back to Final Cut, though, these effects and transitions will be applied once again. If you have anything like a color corrector three-way applied, like I do on most of these clips, these will count as primary color corrections in color. We'll talk about that a little later in this training series. So these don't matter as much. Other things, effects, like I have vignettes on some of these shots, they are also going to be unapplied in color, but they'll be reapplied as you come back into Final Cut Pro. You want to make sure that you can adjust for them, though, knowing if there's some effect that changes the color that you're using on your clips. One thing that can't go into color for sure is a motion project. If you have a motion project that you're using, then you're going to want to export that as a QuickTime movie, bring it back into your timeline so that it can go into color. Another thing that won't work is superimposed images. If you have a picture-in-picture -picture effect, the top image is going to be the only one seen in color. So I would suggest you make that a QuickTime movie as well and individually color correct that or bring it into your project. But let's go send our sequence to color here by right clicking on the sequence that we want. Send to color. Now make a name for it. And here we go. And our sequence is now in color. You can see right down here. If you want to see the whole sequence, go ahead and hit Shift Z. Just like in Final Cut, some of the commands are very similar. And you can see here a couple things that didn't work were the text. I had text that I made in Final Cut that came under this logo, and that's not working. So it crosses all here. You can see where they are, but it's not going to work. Let's pretend we just did all this color correction and you want to get it back to Final Cut. Let's go to our render queue up here, the very right tab, and hit Add All. When you do that, it has a list of all your shots, and we are going to start the render. You'll see here on the left pane, it'll play it out as it's rendering frame by frame, and you'll see a status bar here on the right. So I canceled the render here for the sake of the video, and this tutorial not being too long, but let's pretend I finished. To get it to Final Cut, all I would do is go to File, Send to Final Cut Pro. And it says not all your clips are rendered. It gives me a little warning, and I say that's OK. Continue. Yes. And now it'll bring up a new sequence here as it's converting. And it says Binaka 2 from color. If I double click that, here's my sequence from color. There's a few clips, like the transitions and the shots that had vignettes on it or different effects. I need to render and the text. So there's an introduction to color. In the next couple tutorials we're going to be getting a little more depth in how to color correct in color.